I was happy to see that at the time, you know, because I always felt like uh, Texas had more to offer than just the ghetto boys and Face and UGK regarding mainstream. This is hip hop album debate. Let's get the conversation going. Ain't no time to waste. Yeah, the podcast that I know you've been wanting. They talking real hip hop. Got everybody talking. Let's go. Yeah, keeping 100 and stay true. Hosted by my homie Q. Tune in and come through. Yeah, this be the spot. The number one place all day. This is hip hop album debate. Let's go. Hey, yeah. Welcome to Hip Hop Album Debate, the podcast. This is Q, and this is episode 88. And the debate topic is that boy, Paul Wall, baby, and his album, The People's Champ, was it a classic, dope, regular, or garbage? But before we get into this convo, you guys be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, dig that. All right, so uh, when when this album dropped, Texas was making some noise. They was making some noise. You had Mike Jones, Chameleon there, uh, Flip, Slim Thug. I mean, these guys was really uh, making some noise. And I was happy to see that at the time, you know, because I always felt like uh, Texas had more to offer than just the ghetto boys and face and UGK regarding mainstream, you know what I'm saying, and and I had been a fan of, you know, like guys like DJ Screw, been a fan of him since my mind went blank on the Down South Hustlers compilation, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, the Master P joint that P put out. So that was my first time listening to DJ Screw and kind of getting acclimated and familiar with the uh, uh the chop and screw sound. So I was a big fan and uh I was a fan of ESG, Lil Kiki, the South Side, the South Side, yeah. So you know I was happy to see um them in the forefront. So of course when Paul Wall dropped his album, I'm definitely checking for it. Uh I, I like the way he you know what what I've heard on on previous songs and um uh, I mean, you know, he I, he he did like what he needed to do. You know, being a Texas rapper, um, you know, he made songs for the whip. You know, I'm a player. Future on, uh, you know, three six, sitting sideways with Big Pokey, uh, R.I.P. And uh, he also sampled Pokey on that song as well. Of course, he made song uh, represent Texas, right? They don't know. Uh, sipping the bar. Songs for the ladies, smooth operator, internet going nuts, girl. Some dope songs on on the album. It was he had a couple skippables, but what I would have liked to heard from Paul Wall, other than what I did here, which I was impressed, him being a white guy in a black and brown dominant culture, I would have loved to hear his experience in that regard. Whether it was good or bad. Whether if he didn't ha- have a bad experience, just him speaking on how he was accepted and in, 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 in didn't know that he, you know, like he didn't feel like he was a white rapper in a in a black and brown dominant culture. He just felt like a rapper in the culture because he was accepted from day one. Whatever the case may have been, or maybe he got pushed back. But I would like to have heard more about that because, you know, I know how it is, man. I got white friends that's they've been a part of the culture so long, man. It, it if if they got any pushback, it would have been from outsiders. But if you got you know a white guy or a white girl that's been around the hood or even lived in the hood since they were a baby, they don't know no other way. In fact. A white be, being around, you know, a dominant white culture, they would feel like an alien. They would feel like an outsider. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of feel like that's Paul Wall. But even with that, you know, I still would have loved for him to kind of touch on that. So with that being said, I think the People's Champ is a dope album. I think if he would have had a couple of songs to kind of touch on some real sensitive stuff, 
uh, in that regard, you know, other than Girl. Like, Girl was a sensitive song, but it was about relationship. But I, I would have loved to hear his perspective. Like, like just say with M, we, we all know what M experienced, you know, Eminem. Whether it was good or bad, we knew his experience coming up in the ranks in this dominant black culture, you know, in Detroit. So I would have loved to hear Paul Wall's side. But, and, I, and I think that would have, if you would have gave us a couple of those songs, I think this album would have been a classic. Just my opinion. Um, again, it was a dope album. Uh, if you're not a fan of screwed music and, and bragging about the whips, uh, you may say it's regular. But I think it was a dope album. Again, uh, let's see what the people had to say, though. There's no comments, but we're going to see what the polls had to say. Or should I say what the people had to say via polls and Zero percent said it was garbage. Zero percent said it was regular. Zero percent said it was a classic. And dope was voted by unanimous decision. Interesting enough, I think that's an accurate poll. I really do. I really do. Um, again, dope record, not a classic, but it was a part of a classic moment in hip hop. It was a part of a classic movement. Definitely. So, you guys, y'all let me know what you think. Um, do you agree with me? Or if you disagree with me and the polls, because the polls say it was a dope album. But maybe you guys disagree. Y'all let me know. All right, this is your boy Q. I'm gone. Peace. Hey.